Hello everyone, and welcome back to Craftopia server. I'm your boy Guru MT, and today we are starting at very very rainy day. <laughs> so yeah, I've been like uh, hanging out around my base area, and uh, yeah, there was a lightning storm before, so I was really really hoping that. Uh, we're gonna have some um, skeleton horse horses spawning However, yeah, the lightning ended and uh, Yeah No skeleton horses for Guru today <laughs> That being said uh, I'm standing here because I was looking at this cliff side over here And I think that's kind of the next area that I wanna uh, de develop in my base because we have this bridge over here that basically connects us to nothing as of uh, this moment. So I think I should probably start to pay my attention to this cliffside underneath the dragon. So that being said, uh, yeah, I have to go and collect some building blocks and uh, yeah, then we're gonna be back. And here we have it. Uh, yeah, I actually built the whole thing over here. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of like a Roman aqueduct uh, that has been broken over time, but we still have a little bit of water flowing there. However, the rest of this structure is kind of like in ruins. And uh, yeah, this is kind of like a decorational piece only. It, for now, it doesn't have like any uh, any kind of practical use but yeah I think this fits the area like really well and overall I'm quite happy how it turned out you can take a look also from this side yeah of course there's gonna be like much more greenery eventually around this structure and also this is not gonna be only thing we have like built uh, underneath the dragon over there uh, but yeah for now for now I will stop and uh, yeah pay attention to other projects and we probably gonna come back to it later so by now this should be a familiar sight for you guys because we are in the shopping district standing next to my shops and uh, yeah there's a little bit of area right here that I have marked out uh, and uh, I will try and squeeze in another uh, build just right here Happy to say that we are done with another project. Take a look at this building. Basically, I used a bunch of sandstone and uh, red sand and red sandstone and some orange terracotta to make this happen. It's kind of similar to this one, although it's kind of like an invert colors. So let's walk around and I show you what we have here. Basically, there's the main entrance over here. 
but if you go on this side you can see that I also decorated it a little bit from the back so I don't like leaving blank surfaces <laughs> but on this side we have a fire escape which is actual, actually functional it's the same like as the other building and uh, a bit farther out here I actually did a little bit like a flower bed or what you call, call it like a flower box near the window so uh, but the real question is what are we selling well I kind of went with a the kitchen theme for this shop uh, basically I thought what could you like what farms do I have for stuff that we can actually find in the kitchen so we have sugar we have black pepper and we have honeycombs and you might be wondering what is the black pepper <laughs> well black pepper is uh, basically gunpowder <laughs> which is awesome <laughs> and up here we have knives like and subscribe guru MT. and we have spoons which again subscribe to guru MT. and uh, it sends diamonds for for like fully enchanted stuff I think it's a very very good price because you might notice that I'm now only at level 9 before I was at level 100 so <laughs> I actually did like uh, with 100 levels I was able to like make two shovels <laughs> so here you have it and yeah here is the balcony you can actually go outside and yeah there was the entrance to the fire escape so overall yeah I'm happy how this build turned out and I think we are ready for our next project We are back at my base area and I think it's finally time to do a little bit of building right here. Well, yeah, this project uh, turned out to be much more time-consuming than I was initially thinking. So, what do we have now? Uh, yeah, basically I did the build. Um, as you can see, I have done the greenery around it and a little bit of decoration on it. 
And uh, yeah, maybe we should go down and uh, take a closer look to it. So, if you go here, to the bridge side, uh, yeah, you can see that we now have uh, the bridge actually connected to the pathway over there. And uh, yeah, if we go inside, over here, uh, we have this room. And in this room, we have a smelter. And I mean like we have a smelter system. I have linked uh, 32 furnaces together over here and I have like automatic like refill system for the fuel. We go lower over here. You can see that there's there's a sugarcane farm. Not sugarcane, sorry, uh, a bamboo farm over here. And basically, yeah, we are taking the bamboo and we are like pumping the items up to the smelter and uh, just filling them in the system directly. So yeah, that's what's going on over here. If we go upstairs, well, these rooms right now don't have like a real purpose. They are mostly empty. However, we can easily go from level to level. And yeah, basically, the entire building is connected and uh, we can just go through through it. And I will also take you guys outside over here, just to have like a different angle of the build. And yeah, it's it's not like the, the largest building, however, yeah, for some reason it's, it took me way longer. Oh, then I was expected than I was expecting I mean and uh, yeah but overall I'm happy with the results I haven't done greenery on that side however so yeah there's only one more thing I can show you guys about this build and uh, yeah we should go down here and if you take a closer look here's a button if we press it we actually have this secret uh, entrance. There's another button here, so we can actually close it. So, and where does this one take us? Well, it takes us into the aqueduct that we built earlier in this episode. And basically, yeah, this is just like another, another exit or entrance, kind of hidden away. Uh, for the build over there But uh, yeah, that being said my friends, I think now it's the time for me to say goodbye to you and end the episode I mean uh, like we have done Quite a bit of progress uh, in this episode to this side of my base and I'm actually quite happy about how it's like turning out and connecting uh, the environment yeah, but again, I wanted to say uh, thanks for watching my episodes, uh, thanks for joining me today in general, and I hope you're having a good day. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and maybe subscribe to my channel. And also, if you want to see me working on uh, Minecraft builds in real time, you can always find me on twitch.tv slash guruMT. Uh, so... That being said, my friends, have a good day, have a good one in general. I'm Guru MT, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye, 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 bye.